Good, fantastic morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time you guys are watching this. Um, go heading home after work right now. It's six forty-five in the morning. Got another twenty-five minute drive to get home. Gonna do a couple of uh, challenges this morning. First, finally, I'm gonna do the. Uh, challenge that I asked you guys to do, or the challenge that I asked you guys to challenge me to, now that I'm not training for the competition anymore, and also, uh, a subscriber on here, uh, and also I'm subscribed to him, and became kind of close talking to him on, uh, Twitter as well, Corey challenged me to do 22 push-ups, if you asked me to do that in high school, I would have done 22 for like 10 sets. Because that's all I did in high school for uh, sports was push-ups non-stop. So uh, I'll attempt it this morning. Uh, I don't know how it's going to go. I couldn't tell you the last time I actually did a push-up or, <clears throat> excuse me, multiple push-ups. So we're going to go home and do... 22 push-up challenge and then I'm gonna do uh, a 29 rep of uh, deadlift on my axle at 290 uh, and that's gonna be the uh, somebody challenged me that I can't remember your name off the top of my head right now um, and then I'm gonna I, I also got challenged by Christian to do 29 reps of Atlas Stone, and I'm going to do that on Tuesday morning. It's Sunday morning right now, I think. When I'm on nights, I don't get my day straight anymore. So, I'm um, going to do that on Tuesday morning, um, just because I'm going to do, like, um, not, like, loads with it, because it's 29 reps. I'm going to do, like, uh, uh, squats with it type of deal, kind of um, bring it from the lap to full extension for 29 reps. Uh, so we're going to do, like I said, multiple times now, we'll do that Tuesday. And somebody else challenged me to do a double uh, dumbbell overhead press, I believe it was, uh, like 66 pounds or something like that. Uh, I'm probably not going to do that one just because the dumbbells I have at my place are terrible. Um, but I might try doing, and I haven't been able to do it yet, and I'm probably going to have to do it before August, is pressing my, um, my circus dumbbell. So I will do that for that challenge here, supposedly, I guess. Um, but that is, I believe it's 130 pounds. I'm going to weigh it just because I don't believe it. I believe it's heavier than that. And it's like the biggest one on the market, which makes it even more awkward. So enough talking. And we'll see you in the next frame. But it's another 23-minute drive for me. When the sun rises... I wake up and chase my dreams I won't regret when the sun sets Cause I live my life like I'm a beast Alright guys, 22 push-ups So if I get this correctly, I did it. So now I get to challenge somebody. And I'm gonna challenge Christian Glenn to do it. Oh. 
I got the heart beating a little bit. So let's do these uh, deadlifts. Christian and Glenn, you've been challenged. All right, so I can't tell if you're looking at me or not. Hopefully you are. This is 290 for reps of 29 on the axle. <clears throat> 29 reps because I turned 29 on March 29th and I challenged you guys to pick what I was gonna do. And I'm gonna stop this and look and see who it was. <clears throat> All right, so Sid, you're the one that challenged me to do the deadlifts. Uh, you didn't say weight or anything like that. So I'm doing 29 reps. Because it was a turn 29 on March 29th. I know it's super late for me to get doing this, but uh, I think 290 pounds just to stay up to 29. Pick something that I think I should be able to do for 29 reps. Not 100% on that yet, but there's only one way to find out. Um, I'm really gonna probably want to try an overhead press this. Um, if I do, I'll do it on the last rep. Um, it'll definitely be a PR for me. So I'm going to grab my wrist wraps and have those on standby. <laughs> Here. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the video for today. Um, just wanted to get a quick little workout in. Um, whew, that was definitely some cardio. I don't know how long it took me. Um, I'm guessing around 10 minutes, and with all the breaks I took in between, I think I did. I'll have to go back and look. I'm not even sure if I actually even did 29, I might have done 30. But I know I did like 10, 5, 5, 5, and 4 or 5. I don't even remember. If I did one extra, that makes up for not doing the overhead press, right? All right, well, whew. well, we'll talk to you in the next video, guys. Um, I hopefully want to do some I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for a workout tomorrow yet um, might lay down on this thing behind me here or that I'm sitting on right now do a little bit of a chest and arm workout tomorrow and then do legs Tuesday morning 
now that's hopefully starting getting warmer out. I don't know, it's like 45 right now and raining. To be able to get outside and do some uh, cardio here, get the get my bike out and start pulling the kid around in her cart here soon and uh, start doing some stuff outside here. I do have the oh, I do have the garage door open to this morning if I can see my breath. So I'm gonna get inside, edit this video up. That's already probably pretty long. I'll keep looking around because I got my the way I got my tripod set up, I'm trying to look at the screen. Um, so I'm order, uh, I'm gonna order the uh, mount for my phone for in the truck, hopefully tonight. And then I gotta order some styrofoam balls to make Christian the right size stones because the two bigger ones that I made him uh, were not the size I thought they were. So I'm gonna try. I know I can get one right for him and the other one's gonna be a trial. Um, so I'm gonna have to use my Slater stone mold, the 20 inch mold with a 10 inch styrofoam ball inside of it to lighten it down to 300 pounds. Um, I, the other stone he wants is a 280 stone. So I have three options I can, tr I can do or try. Um, the first one I'm going to do is using the 20 inch mold with a 12 inch foam insert. Um, Slater's got like this list of what inserts to use to get it to the right weight and uh, his only go up to a 12 inch or a 10 inch insert to, for lightning. So I don't know if a 12 inch will get it down to the right weight. And I don't know if the stone will be structural sound. Um, I will definitely test it out before I send it to him. Now that I actually have a scale. <laughs> I didn't have a scale until the day before I took him the stones and I didn't weigh him until I got to his house, which was not good on my part. But now that I have, now I have a couple extra stones for me here of weights that I haven't made for myself yet. Um, so other option is I can do an 18 inch mold with a 45 pound lead insert, which Slater used to sell, but he doesn't sell them anymore. Um, so I can try and find a way to get it online or add a bunch of lead um, tire weights to it that I can find try and find locally. Uh, the only issue with that is I found people having issues with them um, putting them all in a big group and they sink to the bottom um, and then they're when you take the mold apart they're all sitting which would would be at the top of the stone um, sticking out of the mold and whatnot. So that probably wouldn't be that good of idea. Or I can drop some money and get the right size stone mold. Which in the long run would be kind of the most costly uh, thing to do. Finding so I'm gonna take it one step at a time. Uh, I'm gonna do it in that order. Um, the last resort will be dropping the money to get the right size mold. So, sorry Christian, that's gonna take a little while. I know you're not in a rush, but I wanna, I wanna get this right for you, buddy. All right guys, sorry for the long talk. This is the end. Go guys, lift big, eat big, and get big. Boom.